hello everyone today i'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine i don't do my makeup every day but you get it it's how i do my makeup whenever i go out um so which is not every day but if it was this is what i would do so this video was requested by my best friend so i'm doing this for her hope she enjoys it Wow, I look really tired. <laughs> All right, so my hair is tangled around my earring. I love when that happens, really fun. So um, first we're gonna do something about this area because it's the worst. So first I just use this Garnier Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. So this is what it looks like. This is the one that I'm using. It's just a... Um, little roller ball that you just put on so that's what I'm doing all around all under my eyes and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just pat it in there I also I'm using the beauty the what? I'm also using the viewfinder as a mirror again because I tried getting a mirror but honestly this is just easier so that's what I'm doing again I feel like every time I go to film a makeup video, I just sprout a zit in the middle of my forehead. Like the ugliest, most obnoxious zit. So, say hi to her. And now we're gonna use more anti-dark circle stuff. There's a little sponge on top. And you just crank it up. And you put it under there. Get rid of your dark circles. Which I honestly think is impossible in my case, but I try. So, okay. I used to use this. I used this like maybe twice. Um, it looks like I used it a lot more than twice, but I didn't. I don't know why it looks like it's like empty. Um, it's the 24 hour stay uh, foundation, but I think because it's like a super stay, it um, was like making me break out, which is where all this came from. And I like couldn't get all of it off because it's supposed to stay on. It's like really hard to get off. So I obviously stopped using it and then my mom showed me this that she uses. It's called Revlon Photo Ready Candid and it works really good. Um, it's like a tube with a little pump bottle. So I just pump that on to the areas that I need it, which I don't really think is how you're supposed to do it, but that's what I do. And then just again with my beauty blender. It smells odd, but I mean, it doesn't smell bad. You know what it smells like? It smells like a popsicle stick, which is strange, but. All right, I'm gonna break out my mirror because I can't tell if this is streaky or not, so. I actually think it's okay. And then I just go over all that with this powder, Neutrogena powder, I've been using for years. It just broke all over my lap. I obviously don't do makeup professionally, this is just what I do. I'm not saying, hey, go do this, this is the right way to do it, because I don't know. I'm just doing what I do. So this would be the time where if I were to do eyeliner, I would do it. Sometimes I do eyeliner, sometimes I do, don't, most of the time I do not, but I use this All May liquid liner. Looks like this, can't see it because my camera doesn't want to focus on it. Looks like this. Or if I don't use this, or I will use this Jeffree Star liquid black lipstick as eyeliner. Obviously I don't use the applicator, I use like an angled brush and then I'll just put it on the applicator and do like a winged eyeliner, but I'm not going to do that. This lasts for so long it's so hard to get off but like it's amazing I love it I'm not gonna do eyeliner today but um I'm just gonna be using some fake lashes they are they are the brand Ardell which you know they're like Target slash Walmart I think I got these at Target but those are the ones that I use and honestly it just saves me so much time because I don't have to do anything else I just stick on these eyelashes and I'm like presentable to the world wild 
This is the lash glue that I use. It's really gross and crusty because it's old and there's just glue all over the lid. But um, that's what I use. It's Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. I use that. I need to get a new one. But I mean, I like it. I like it. I just put a lot of glue, but it's fine. I just wait a couple seconds and just air them out. The glue get a little bit tacky, as they say. <laughs> I'm gonna use my mirror for this because I struggle. I just kind of like tip them upwards and stick them on. Which again, I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it's what I do. I mean, I know for a fact that the way that I put on eyelashes is not the right way to do it. It's what works for you. And that works for me, so. What's weird is that I'm right-handed, but for like putting in my contacts and putting on eyelashes on my left eye, I have to use my left hand or like I can't do it. I don't know why. So there we go, we have my eyelashes on. Next, we do mascara. I use Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. I always like go to put it in the tube and just completely miss and that's what that is, so. That's it for my eyes. So if I have um, my bangs cut a little bit shorter and my eyebrows, eyebrows might show, I will do my eyebrows. So now I'll show you how I do my eyebrows when I feel like it. I don't always feel like doing my eyebrows, but today I'll do it. So for my eyebrows, I use the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Um, and I use two colors. I use these two colors, Buck and Dark Horse. So, I use this kind of brush, it's like a little angled, it's like a little angled brush, very slightly, but it works very well. So I just take the lighter color, mix with the darker color, tap it out, and then just... Obviously the same thing for the other one. So that's it, that is my everyday makeup that I do. Um, this is my everyday hair. Um, my bangs are just having a really hard day today. Oh wait, I actually, I am going to do lipstick actually. So again, this is kind of something that sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but um, lipstick. Now, I have a lot of lipstick, but this one is my all time favorite. It's Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood and celebrity skin mixed together and it makes just the most beautiful nude color you ever did see so yeah we use the celebrity skin I'm just gonna put this on I just put this on like I love this color by itself but I think it's a little bit too pale for me but to fix that problem one day I decided to mix in a little bit of unicorn blood with it and it changed my life I feel so weird saying I mixed in unicorn blood with it, like, that's so weird. But anyways. There you go. That is my lipstick of choice. So yeah, do I have lipstick on your teeth? I sure do. So yeah, that pretty much does it for my everyday makeup routine that I do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I probably will be doing more makeup looks. Um, even though my makeup skills are questionable, I enjoy doing it. So, okay, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.